Hello, I'm Pinakin Dewey from Western University of Health Sciences, along with Dr. James Sai from New York INER, presenting on a pilot study evaluating contact lens intraocular pressure measuring system. The purpose of this study was to evaluate a soft contact lens system, my lens, in a group of ocular healthy individuals without glaucoma and to compare the intraocular pressure estimates obtained using the soft contact lenses with Goldman Appalachian Tonometer and Rebound Tonometry. The soft contact lens system, my lens, is a medical device with multiple layer of silicon hydrogel. It has 200 microns thickness approximately, and it comprises of a sensing channel, a reading channel, which you see here with alphabets marked, and with an air reservoir with a sensing mechanism entirely dependent on microfluidic channels that are embedded with the soft contact lens. There are no electronic devices with this, and the sensor measures intraocular pressure. The study was performed at Western University of Health Sciences, Eye Care Institute, and 25 individuals with a visual acuity of 2025 or better in both eyes, free of ocular pathology, were examined for the study. Intraocular pressure estimates were obtained using the Goldman Appalachian Tonometer and the Eye Care Rebound Tonometer in both eyes. Only individuals that had between eye intraocular pressure difference of less than 2 millimeters of mercury were included in the study. And one eye, the study eye, the soft contact lens was inserted, whereas the fellow eye was used as a control. The intraocular pressure was measured hourly on the fellow eye using both the Goldman tonometer as well as the rebound tonometry. After two hours, participants were given oral astrozolomide, 250 milligram, and then the change in intraocular pressure was measured every 30 minutes in the fellow eye for the next two hours. At a four hour time period, the contact lens was removed and intraocular pressure was measured both in the study eye and the fellow eye, and the cornea was evaluated for integrity using sodium fluorescein. We find that the intraocular pressure estimates of my lens soft contact lens device correlates very well with Goldman Appalachian Tonometer and the eye care tonometer in the study eye with a Pearson correlation coefficient of 77% to 78%. It also correlates quite nicely with the fellow eye values that were measured. 78% of my lens IOP values were within plus or minus two millimeters of mercury of Goldman Appalachian Tonometer, and 70% of my lens IOPs were within plus or minus two millimeters of mercury of eye care rebound tonometer. Here's an example of a patient that was followed up over time. You can see these light blue dots were the my lens values and how they change over time for a four hour period. So here you see that the intraocular pressure is nicely tracked with the my lens and compares quite nicely with the Goldman values obtained as well as the eye care tonometer value obtained. When the patients were given oral astrozolomide, the pressure is decreased, which again is tracked very well by the my lens system. In conclusion, my lens IOP estimates are in good agreement with the Goldman Appalachian tonometer and the rebound eye care tonometer. It can be safely worn with no major adverse events for a period of four hours, and the IOP estimates match that of Goldman and rebound tonometer. We need larger clinical trials to fully evaluate the efficacy of myelin system. Thank you.